Hi, I'm Surya. I'm going to tell about my project. Our project name is Amazon Seller Services Using IoT. Um, our group members are Deepak, Vardhan, and Sunil. And client name is Mohammad Al Khalil. And company name is, is BR Technology. Our supervisor is uh, Amar Al Zabad. Uh, these are the contents used for the project. Uh, Coming to the objectives, address existing technologies to deploy an uh, efficient Amazon seller systems, develop a functioning prototype of Amazon seller systems, develop an algorithm which can send the Amazon seller systems of any uh, emergency direction. Coming to the project design, the project design encaps different, uh, different uh, elements of the project deployment. Uh, with the today's advanced uh, advancements in the IoT, the automobile industry, the vehicles are coming with the various safety and cost analysis sensors to avoid, avoid the delay in the emergency cases. With the advances, uh, advancements in the IoT in our project, we have imp implemented the GSM module wherein we can send the message to the emergency, emergency list, which uh, was added to the system by installation. Hmm. Uh, this will facilitate the care take, uh, taken in the case of emergencies to inform the dear ones about the actions. Uh, come to the flowchart. Uh, here, the flowchart uh, is, a, is a embedded in the vehicle so that whenever the vehicle starts, it starts working. Once the vehicle starts, the ordinary unit is programmed in such a way that the, as soon as the engine starts, it activates the, all the sensors which are embedded in the vehicles uh, to continuously keep track of the uh, track of what is going on the vehicle. The Arduino unit keeps continuously communications with the sensors, checks the connectivity, and if the, everything is properly working, then the microcontroller will continuously analyze the data of the sensors and received. The microcontroller is programmed in such a way that the if something unusual or microcontroller uh, micro will immediately observe if any they, if there was any action occurred. If the ac action was occurred, uh, then our system will sense, sense it and immediately check, uh, check it whether it was a false sum or the correct true alarm. And if uh, alarm is correct, then it, uh, it immediately sends the, uh, sends the alerts to the nearest emergency services and the dear ones using the GSM module and exact ge geographical uh, coordinates, and, uh, which is uh, sent using the GPS modules so that uh, to look at the action place quickly. This approach could save a lot of uh, lives uh, as it's the best way to communicate with the emergency uh, when the action uh, when the actions happen and there are no people to inform that the incident has happened. The system can be really helpful in such conditions. Thank you. And, uh, next we'll continue with the Sunil. Yeah, hi, man. I would like to explain about it. The implementation of IoT does not require a lot of devices to work on. All we need is our own, uh, very own smartphone because these devices enable us to use the tracking and many other applications to our benefits. It helps in recording surrounding locations and many more. This can be achieved by the sensors present in the smartphone like accelerometer, proximity sensor, and GPS. Uh, the process uh, so of the IoT exceeds the disadvantages and makes sure that the people who are using it benefits from the network. The organizations are really happy with this because it helps them understand how their services are working. This way they can fix the problems more effectively. Uh, the beneficial part is that it can be automated very easily and is highly accurate. Uh, the network built by the sensors which can accumulate data points from the nearby environment in a regular manner is IoT. By using these types of framework, the complexity of the function decreases and application protocols are replaced. Uh, the installation of alert systems into smartphone has been made easy and is working effectively. Whenever an emergency occurs, the GPS module detects the location and notes the coordinates precisely. With the help of GSM module, the messages are rapidly sent to the emergency centers and the contact list. And our process, uh, our process is develop prototype, assemble parts according to prototype, develop algorithm and code for detection, and run it using microcontroller. And next will be continued by the Thank you, Sinil. Um, so as you can see, this is the design layout and uh, everything is, you know, connected as per the pins and we can see the diagram. So here we have used ADL, ADXL335, which is a small pin, low power, three axis accelerometer. And then we used the uh, Arduino, it's an open source microcontroller board based on microchip 80 mega 328P. And then we have a liquid crystal display 
uh, we use GPS module uh, in order to know the location of the vehicle and then we use the SIM 900 GSM so it delivers GSM performance for voice SMS data and fax in a small uh, form factor uh, basically this is it and the next uh, slides will be continued by Vardhan Uh, the design which we used to for the like, for the microcontroller, we are now with the back uh, Once once we do that in the ARCAD simulator, we use we use the same design uh, in the ARCAD simulator. The project team uh, simulated the design. Uh, like the precise pin layout will be uh, with the with the with the precise pin layout so that like we can get get it actually in the ARCAD simulator. Can you please move on to the next slide, please? And in real-time development, like the team have like built a real-time system based on the developed design in ARCAD, uh, like which compromise the 80 mega uh, 32A microcontroller along with the GSM module and vibrator sensor. Here, like uh, with the with the one we got from the ARCAD simulator, we are going to add like GSM module and vibrator sensor to it uh, in in real time. Uh, in real time, can we move on to the next slide? And uh, it is uh, like we can we can see in the image uh, we have a real time uh, prototype here. We have, we got the microcontroller uh, and all the all the PCB is uh, designed from ORCAD and uh, we got connected all all to it with the with the vibration sensor and uh, the other sensors as well uh, with the G GPS module as well. And uh, this this prototype we are going to connect into uh, into a mobile car. Uh, can we move on to the next slide? Yeah, this is this is the comparative analysis from from like six nine one and six nine two. Uh, in starting last semester, we have done uh, all the theoretical work and proposing the design and all. But in uh, now in this semester, we we have we added a microcontroller uh, to support to support the real time scenarios and the real time implementations. Uh, we have also we have also addressed the parameters of vibration sensor. Uh, so that like at which point at which point the device can uh, can detect the can detect the accidents and and, uh, and so that it can effectively it can effectively send us the like like the right uh, information to the emergency services and with this we also integrated the uh, GPS sensor as well and the G, uh, like, so that we can put a SIM card in it and uh, so that we can we can implement the SMS protocol. Uh, using using the companies, yeah. And now uh, Deepak is going to explain the next slides. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. So now I'm going to conclude this uh, meeting. So here we can see the limitations and conclusions which we have faced for this project. So the primary limitation is the you know inefficiency and incompatibility of message protocol used by service providers in Melbourne. So as you can see in the image over here. Uh, the text messaging service is connected to SMSC. So SMSC is nothing but a short message service center and it is a portion of a wireless network that handles SMS uh, operations such as routing, forwarding, storing incoming text messages on the way to desired endpoints. Wireless network operators connect SMSs through SMS gateways. So we have we can see SMSC 1, 2, 3, 4 like you know uh, four different networks and then uh, the issue over here is the configuration of SIM module uh, which also requires identification of SMS framework which cannot be found without the help of telecommunication partners. So here we are using uh, the SMPP protocol which is a true SMS protocol and is deployed by the telecommunication industry specifically for transmitting SMS messages. Uh, Pranish, next slide please. Yeah, creativity. So the most creative thing which we felt on the, while doing this project is that, you know, uh, developing a full uh, working module and also developing a custom PCB board, which can be accommodated into the vehicle, uh, which, you know, turns out to be a full blown working structure. So here we, as we can see a custom PCB board, PCB is nothing but a printed circuit board and it is used to mechanically support and electrically connect electric components using connect to pathways tracks and signal traces etched from copper sheets. So since it's a very small uh, whiteboard PCB, it would be very difficult to accommodate everything on it and connect it to the vehicle. So that have been the most creative part. 
um, next slide finish yeah so uh, no matter what uh, we do or we try to build end of the day we need to find a client for us who is interested to interested in a project and would like to invest in it so here as um, we developed a prototype for emergency alert service system using iot developed projects can be sold to vehicle manufacturers as it essentially helps in saving people's in many lives and we feel this is something which is which can help the people in uh, the long run and uh, as the name itself says we have the gps coordinates uh, which would be sent to the emergency services and uh, the threshold value set for vibration sensor so the main thing uh, which we would like to mention over here is iot has been of more usage in automotive sector and uh, with iot uh, we got to <coughs> uh, see many different things in the automobile industry such as fleet management where you know uh, the truck cargo the car, truck weight when it is loaded with uh, the deliverables uh, we can automatically see the weight of that so this is the, the help of iot and then we have connected cars also where you know uh, if like say four vehicles which has the iot uh, technology in them would be detecting the distance between those cars automatically so this would uh, help the strain uh, and the load reduced on the driver and then we have automotive maintenance system where you know the iot technology deployed in the vehicle would automatically check uh, what's wrong with the vehicle or you know what can be done or when it needs to be serviced and then we have another thing like wi-fi in car where you know 4g lte services are provided for the customers especially in ride share cabs which is like you know a slight advantage uh, among the competitors and then we have autonomous vehicle system where you know it helps in parking and uh, when you are trying to uh, change your lane so the iot technology deployed in the vehicle would uh, sense uh, everything and we are mostly with the help of sensors and that that's going to help the load reduce on the driver also so this is it for this slide next yeah that's it so basically that's the presentation and uh, any questions would be appreciated and next we have the references which we have used to prepare this uh, ppt so uh, you can see everything over here so yeah that's it thank you guys